So now I'm with Jean Lambert, who's one of our Green MEPs from the UK and an expert on migration issues and also on freedom of movement and employment as well. And we're going to talk a little bit about Brexit and what's happened with freedom of movement and our, our rights and also the rights of EU citizens living in the UK. Now, Jean, this is of great concern to a lot of people that I represent in the South West. I mean, I'm sure, like you, I've had a lot of really distressing emails about people who fear that their families will be split up and they just don't know what their rights are, and it's really causing a great deal of distress, isn't it, this, this question of freedom of movement and what will happen after Brexit? It's causing enormous problems. It's causing problems for individuals who, as you say, they don't know what's going to happen with their family. You get a letter from the government saying, oh, well, you've lived here 27 years, you've got children, but, you know, maybe you should think about going home now because you don't qualify for long-term residence, which is really shocking. It's also very bad for the British economy. And if you look, I mean, my constituency is, is London. We have 13% of doctors in London are from the EU 27. So if those people's rights are not assured, we're going to see considerable problems in the health service. And we are already being told that people are either not willing to come and work in the UK anymore or are leaving. So it's a problem for individuals. It's also a problem, a wider problem for the country too. Yeah, we definitely find that in the southwest, and we've got a particular concern with um, agriculture, you know, and with fruit pickers and so on. Apparently, a lot of people went home at Christmas and just didn't come back, and also with the tourism industry, which relies on, on migrants. But perhaps we could take a step back and think about why it is that Greens think freedom of movement is such a great thing, because, I mean, we're still defending that. We still think, you know, it's brought a lot to our society in terms of people coming to be part of, of our country and our economy, but also in terms of what we've been able to do, freedom to travel and work and study across the European Union. Well this is it I th and I think f people need to understand that freedom of movement is something a little bit different from ordinary sort of migration where that's you making a decision you're going to move to another country there are particular formalities that you go through and it's the choice of the country whether they take you whereas with freedom of movement this is reciprocal so it's not as if this is only about people wanting to come to the UK. We know we've got well over a million UK nationals currently abroad. We have people who've retired to Spain. The number one reason people move from the UK elsewhere is because they want better weather. Um, so, you, you know, people have, have taken advantage of those possibilities. And you have rights when you move. So you bring sort of your background in terms of social security entitlement comes with you and that what you then do in the country that you move to like the UK is that when you're working in the UK the rights you acquire there you don't lose them they travel with you mm -hmm. and I think you, you know so that that's something that bit different it's also different on health care that you know if you're coming to if you're traveling within the European Union and I don't know you've you fall and you break your leg, you're entitled to health care on the same basis of a national in the country where you've been injured. So we have these reciprocal rights, you know, which, which work both ways. Mm -hmm. I know during the referendum campaign we talked quite a lot about, um, we did as Greens, we talked about well, what will happen afterwards when you're travelling, you know, health insurance, social security rights and so on, but I feel that was pretty much swept under the carpet by the people who were arguing that we should leave. I mean, what sort of problems do you think we'll face as individual citizens if Brexit goes ahead and we lose this right of freedom of movement and all the attendant rights that go with it? Well, one of the things that will happen is that for people that have already exercised that right to free movement, there's a question about what happens to their rights. And we would hope that, you know, your historical rights, if you've worked for five years in France already or whatever, that those won't, won't be affected. That's one of the things we have to secure. For people who at the moment are acquiring, I know, long-term residence or whatever, we want to see that that is assured so that the three years you might already have lived in the UK get added into whatever you want. But it's not clear what's going to happen. It's not clear what's going to happen to the um, reciprocal health care that we have. I mean, we're listening at the moment to problems in the UK about how long you have to wait for cancer treatment. I mean, currently under the EU rules, you can ask for that treatment to be carried out in another European Union member state mm -hmm. if you can't get it done quickly enough and it will affect your health in the UK. We don't know if that will be happening in future. So. There'll be issues about health, certainly issues about 
students at the moment, a number of students from the UK go to study elsewhere in the European Union, possibly because they're not having to pay tuition fees. Um, which, okay, the Greens have promised to abolish tuition fees in the UK, but, you know, that right will probably go. Um, the right to take up employment, you know, if you're already in the country, may go. There are all sorts of things which, which may go and which, you know, unless we really fight mm -hmm. to retain those rights. So there's quite a lot of unknowns there, but I'm relying on you to battle for the rights of EU citizens in the UK and UK citizens abroad. And I'm sure people in the South West I represent will be very reassured to know you're doing that. Yes, I, I would hope so. That it, and it's, the Greens are really working very hard on this. We have done for a, a long time. We've even produced materials on the rights of EU nationals in the UK. So this is something we're very serious about because we believe everybody is entitled to fair and equal treatment and that we need to protect those rights. You don't protect rights by levelling down. You do it by levelling up. So this is what we want to see happen and people, so that people can rest easy and you know, have a real future for their families. Okay, great. Thanks very much for sharing that, Jean. Pleasure.